There are two types of leukemia that come from the myeloid lineage in the bone marrow. These are AML, acute myelogenous leukemia, and CML, chronic myelogenous leukemia. So to discuss AML first, AML is usually found in middle-aged people, sometimes in the elderly, very rarely in children. Unlike ALL, which is predominantly a childhood tumor, AML can really present at any time in life. Now, classically, when you see these cells under the peripheral blood smear, you'll see something called hour rods. These are small little rod-like inclusions that you'll see in the cytoplasm of the malignant cells in AML. And that's a clue to the diagnosis. Now, if you get a, a bone marrow biopsy in these patients, you're going to see a large number of myeloblasts, so immature cells of the myeloid lineage, and these are going to spread all throughout the bloodstream. And there is one important subtype of AML you should be familiar with on step one, and that is called the N3 variety, also known as acute promyelocytic leukemia. So N3 is the acute promyelocytic leukemia, APML, and that's so important to remember because it's actually responsive to vitamin A treatment, so all transretinoic acid. If you give all transretinoic acid, which is just vitamin A, to these patients, it can actually be curative for the leukemia. Now, the other type of leukemia from the myeloid lineage is CML, chronic myelogenous leukemia. And this is a really important one to know for several reasons. First of all, it's not really a true leukemia, and grouping it in the leukemias is sort of a misnomer. CML is more correctly placed as a myeloproliferative disorder. But we group it in the name leukemia just because that's the name it was given a long time ago, so it's okay in your mind to keep AML and CML together. Just realize that what's going on is a little bit different. Now, CML being a myeloproliferative disorder is also interesting because it has a unique chromosomal translocation associated with it that has turned out to be an excellent target for treatment. And this is called the Philadelphia chromosome, and it's actually a, a translocation between chromosomes 9 and 22. So the 922 translocation results in a new chromosome, which we call the Philadelphia chromosome. And the reason that this translocation causes malignancy is that you have two proteins, one called BCR and one called ABL or ABL, coming together and fusing and creating a new fusion protein. And this BCR able fusion protein is quite dangerous because what it results in is uncontrolled proliferation of these myeloid cells. So these patients are going to present with an increase in their white blood cell count, and predominantly it's going to be neutrophils, metamyelocytes, basophils, pretty much anything from the myeloid lineage. Now you might think to yourself, I have heard of another situation where you get a high white blood cell count and a left shift or a shift to more immature forms of the white blood cell. And you did, and that's called a leukemoid reaction. And that's a normal response to infection. So how do you tell CML apart from a leukemoid reaction? We mentioned in the last lecture that what you can actually do is check for the levels of alkaline leukocyte phosphatase. And if this leukocyte alkaline phosphatase is actually low, you want to think about CML. And if the leukocyte alkaline phosphatase is high, you're going to want to think about a leukemoid reaction. So that's how you tell the difference between them. Now, one other really important thing to know about CML is that usually it's sort of an indolent course for a while, but then it can suddenly transform into what we call a blast crisis. So CML can actually transform into ALL or AML. So where it was a chronic leukemia for a while, it makes this different mutation and turns into an acute leukemia. You get a very, very rapid rise in the number of blast forms in the blood. This can be very rapidly progressing and cause death quite quickly. So you need to watch out for blast crisis in these patients and frequently monitor their white blood cell count. Now, the treatment I was talking about that's so important because of this translocation is called imatinib. And imatinib is a monoclonal antibody against the bcr able fusion protein. So we've actually, in this case, been able to target the very protein that is causing uncontrolled cell proliferation. And patients with CML, who are Philadelphia chromosome positive, have a great cure rate treatment with imatinib.